Sinds eind vorige week heb ik wat onschuldige gezondheidsproblemen. Het kan daardoor zijn dat ik de komende dagen soms herhalingen van eerdere uitzendingen laat horen. Ik zal proberen zoveel mogelijk wel nieuwe data aan de uitzendingen toe te voegen, omdat ik weet dat veel mensen daarvoor inschakelen. Daily Minutes nummer 15, 15 met een uitzending voor vandaag 5 januari 2019. Dit is het bulletin van zaterdag. This bulletin will be in English, but we will start with some Dutch. Ja, de uitzending op zaterdag is vrij gemakkelijk, dus die kan ik natuurlijk wel gewoon maken. Vandaag is er uitgebreid data. We beginnen met enkele 8 PSK varianten om nogmaals, nogmaals wat daarmee te testen. Vervolgens zijn er twee SSTV beelden en direct eraan vast zonder pauze twee foto's in DRM. Na de uitzending ben ik QFV op PI3XTV en daarnaast uiteraard secundair ook op de chat en op woka.be. Hallo, dit is Mike Marsh, G1IAR en welkom bij de TX News podcast van de GB2RS National News voor zondag de 6th of januari 2019, supplied by the Radio Society of Great Britain en brought to you by TX Factor. De news headlines this week: Happy New Year! Italian Wireless Pioneers Award Scheme and download the latest 5 MHz newsletter. The news team and all the staff at RSGBHQ would like to wish our newsreaders, listeners and online readers a very happy new year. We'd like to remind everyone that we, as always, welcome your news by email to radcom at rsgb.org.uk and the deadline is 10 a.m. sharp on Thursday mornings. The GB2RS script is uploaded to the RSGB website by 4.30 p.m. every Friday afternoon. Ari Fidenza and the Guglielmo Marconi Foundation has announced an award scheme based on major Italian pioneers in wireless and radio technology, or the main artifices of these fundamental discoveries and practical achievements that have made possible the birth of wireless communications and subsequent progress in radio technology. Running from the 1st of January to the 31st of December 2019, 12 commemorative radio stations with special call signs will alternate throughout the year. Each month is dedicated to a specific scientist and all the details are up online at arifidenza.it. The latest edition of the 5 MHz newsletter is now available for free PDF download from the RSGB 5 MHz page at tinyurl.com forward slash gb2rs hyphen 0106a for alpha. This edition includes 5 MHz news from 10 countries, features the latest number of CEPT countries on 5 MHz, Exercise Blue Ham 100, and an article on Taking Care on 5357. The RSGB's National Radio Centre at Bletchley Park welcomed 55,232 people through its doors in 2018, including the vast majority of them to amateur radio for the first time. Well done to Martin, Golf Zero Golf Mike Bravo, and his team of volunteers who actually keep the NRC running. Please note that the NRC will be closed for a private event on Tuesday the 15th of January, but outside of this, volunteers look forward to welcoming visitors seven days a week, especially RSGB members who can download a free entry voucher for Bletchley Park from the RSGB website. The final advanced training course in Bath starts on Wednesday the 30th of January 2019. The course will run on Wednesday evenings at the Scout HQ in Grove Street in Bath, aiming for an exam in July. This will be the last amateur radio course in Bath for quite some time due to the work required to implement the changes to the syllabus. The Bath team expect to be closed down for at least six months and possibly even a year. 
The final Bath-based distance learning course, which will run in parallel with the classroom course, is now full and has a record number of students. If anyone is looking to upgrade from intermediate to full and can attend the classes in Bath, please drop an email to the course leader, who is Steve Hartley, and you can do it via email to g0fuw at tiskily.co.uk. The RSGB is pleased to announce that Bobby Wadey, Mike India Zero, Romeo Yankee Lima, has been appointed to the position of RSGB Awards Manager, taking over from Chris Burbank's Golf 3 Sierra Juliet Juliet. The Society would like to thank Chris for all of his hard work as the RSGB Awards Manager. RSGB members are reminded that nominations are open for the RSGB board and regional representatives. Details are in the January Radcom and online at tinyurl.com forward slash gb2rs hyphen 0106 bravo. These roles offer a good opportunity to help the RSGB develop and promote amateur radio. Nominations close on the 31st of January 2019. Until the 14th of January, 8,400 scouts from every Australian state, plus representatives from 18 nations, will converge in South Australia to participate in the 25th Australian Scout Jamboree. One of the 150 activities on offer to the scouts will be a chance to participate in amateur radio using Victor India 25 Alpha Juliet and a direction finding course too. About 2,000 scouts are expected to experience amateur radio over the 10-day period and they will be active on the HF bands, both SSB and digital modes, satellites and IRLP and Echolink as well. Full details such as operating schedules and the frequencies they'll be using will be available via the Victor India 25 Alpha Juliet QRZ.com page and if you hear the call sign on the air, give those youngsters a call. That's the headline news for this week. Now it's time for details of rallies and events for the upcoming week. Well, we've actually got no rallies in the diary happening right throughout January. So to get your event into Radcom, onto GB2RS and on the RSGB website, please send your details in as early as possible to radcom at rsgb.org.uk and we need to know about four months in advance for the Radcom magazine. So let's do the DX News from 425DX News and other sources. Rich Papa Alpha Zero, Romeo Romeo Sierra, is on the air as 9 Mike 2, Mike Romeo Sierra from Penang Island. That's an iota reference of Alpha Sierra 015 until the 15th of February. Activity will be on the HF bands using CW, RTTY, PSK and FT8 and new QSL to his home call sign. Mike Oscar Echo 6, Mike Bravo Golf, is operating as Sierra 79 Alpha Alpha from Mahe, which is Alpha Foxtrot 024, until the 2nd of February. Activity is on the 160 to 10 metre bands, plus 6 metres as well, as long as conditions permit, using CW and SSB, and if you get a contact, QSL via Logbook of the World. Antoine 3 Delta 2 Alpha Golf is on the air as Tango 2 Alpha Romeo from Funafuti until the 31st of January. Activity will be on the HF bands including 160 metres and you can QSL to his home call sign. In addition, Apinelu Tango 2 Alpha Tango is operating on the HF bands using FT8 and QSL there via November 7 Sierra Mike India. Bernie, Whiskey 3, Uniform Romeo, and Becky, November 3, Oscar, Sierra Hotel, will be on the air as Victor 47, Uniform Romeo, from Calypso Bay on St. Kitts Island, which is November Alpha 104, from the 8th to the 20th of January. Activity will be holiday styly on the 160 to 6 metre bands using CW and SSB, and QSL via Logbook of the World. Moving on to the special events news now, Golf Bravo 2 Kilo Whiskey is on the air at various times near Inverness until the 28th of January using vintage KW gear. QSL via Logbook 
of the world. That's it for special events, so please send any further special event details into radcom at rsgb.org.uk as soon as you possibly can for free publicity on GB2RS in the Radcom magazine and online. And do remember that UK special event stations must be open to the public, so our free publicity can really help make your efforts more widely known. Moving on to the contest news now, only a few here on Tuesday. It's the 432 MHz FM activity contest and it runs from 1900 to 1955 UTC using FM only. It's immediately followed by the all mode 432 MHz UK activity contest, which runs from 2000 to 2230 UTC. The exchange for both contests is signal report, serial number and locator. On Thursday, the new 50 MHz MGM contest runs from 1900 to 1955 UTC using machine-generated modes only. It's immediately followed by the all-mode 50 MHz UK activity contest that runs from 2000 to 2230 UTC, and the exchange for both of those contests is signal report, serial number and locator. Next Sunday, the 13th, it's the Data Modes AFS contest, and that runs from 1300 to 1700 UTC. Using data only on the 3.5 and 7 megahertz bands, the exchange is signal report and serial number. And finally, the UK 6 Meter Group Marathon continues this month until the 31st of January. Using all modes on the 50 megahertz band, the exchange is signal report and locator. Let's move on to the radio propagation report now. This week, compiled by Golf Zero Kilo Yankee Alpha, Golf 3 Yankee Lima Alpha, and Golf 4 Bravo Alpha Oscar on Friday, the 4th of January. A new sunspot appeared this week, although it belongs to the outgoing cycle 24 and is therefore not a sign that the new cycle 25 is underway just yet. We may still have to wait until at least the autumn before that happens. Despite pushing the solar flux index up to 75 on Thursday, we're also still very much in the mid-winter doldrums, with bands opening late and closing early. Having said that, there have been reports of some early afternoon 17-metre transatlantic CW openings to the USA. 20 metres and 40 metres have often closed early, but it's worth checking both bands after dark, as there has been some activity spotted on 40 metres around 11 o'clock at night, so it is worth looking. A large solar coronal hole became earth-facing on Thursday, which may cause some disruption to the bands at the weekend, potentially pushing the K-index to 4 with depressed maximum usable frequencies. Once its effects have passed, though, we should see more settled bands with a maximum K-index of 2 next week and a solar flux of around 71. Daytime critical frequencies are currently reaching a maximum of about 4.9 MHz, meaning 80 meters remains the best band for daytime ENVIS or close-in signals. 60 meters or 5 MHz may also be fine for inter-G, although you may struggle on 60 meters at time, with stations closer than about 100 kilometers. Over longer distances, 20 meters remains favorite, with possible occasional openings on 17 meters. Winter sporadic E may throw up some surprise openings on 12 and 10 meters, but they might be fleeting and hard to predict. Moving on to the VHF and upwards propagation news now, there is still a large area of high pressure on the charts, and as is typical of such features, they can be very persistent. This one is going for the long game with another one to two weeks of high pressure to come. That means that tropo will be the mode of choice with variations mostly down to how moist the air is near the surface compared with the very dry air just above the temperature inversion. A big contrast in moisture means better ducting on VHF and UHF and the best sign of this is when you find mist and fog forming, bad for travelling but better for tropo. The position of the high is crucial though and when we find a cold northerly flow pattern with the high just to the west, this tends to reduce the prospects for good tropo despite the pressure being fairly high. So expect variations in the scope and the intensity of the openings as the high centre drifts around the UK.
Out of Season Sporadic E is also worth checking for during the depths of winter, especially with the big changes in the wind regime in the stratosphere at the moment. The short and intense Quadrantids meteor shower last week usually ushers in a quiet period of meteor activity until early April, so keep looking for the usual dawn enhancement of random meteors. The moon reached its lowest declination yesterday, that's Thursday, and Apogee coming up next Wednesday, so there are short moon windows with low elevations and high losses all the way through the week. And that's all from the propagation team this week, their first report in 2019. And that is all we've got for your GB2RS national news for the UK for the first week in January from around the world this week. Don't forget your regional GB2RS news broadcasters will be resuming normal operation. They will be on the air on Sunday with all of the news that's important to you closer to home. Time for me to wish you a very healthy and happy new year and good DX in 2019 from myself, Mike Marsh, Bob McCready, Nick Bennett, Pete Sipple and all of the TX Factor crew. And that's it. I'm Mike Marsh, G1IR reporting with the TX News weekly podcast of GB2RS. Thank you for listening. We'll see you back here right through 2019 with all the very latest updates of GB2RS News. Daily Minutes zijn dagelijks vanaf ongeveer 1900 uur te beluisteren. De uitzending wordt een dag later om half elf ochtends herhaald. Alle mail is welkom op het adres x xdvme Dat is ook te vinden rechts bovenaan de webpagina van de uitzending in www.pa0ete.nl. De Daily Minutes toont iedere dag weer aan de hand van schokkende voorbeelden hoe een hobby mensenlevens kan veranderen. De internetfaciliteiten en studio hardware voor Daily Minutes worden gesponsord door 70 MHz shop.nl. 70 MHZ shop.nl.
Ik heb een microfoon naar toe.